started heading a little bit more inshore towards land, uh, a little bit shallower, uh, we ended up going to some spots in like a 140-ish, I'd say. We ended up trying to scout this new area. Uh, not quite so deep, but then we'll have more bottom time, so we're going to try to make the best of it. Thing is, in this area, I've never really ran my own boats, so all the spots I hit are I was given, basically. And this time around, the spots we were given, we would go to them. I mean, they're always spread out a few miles too, so it would take a good amount of time on a slow moving boat like that to actually get there. By the time we'd get there, try to mark the spot, and usually they'd be off or we wouldn't even find them at all. So it really slowed us down. We just ended up heading more inshore, more inshore, because we knew it was gonna, the weather was going to get bad, sort of, you know. We ended up finding one that marked slightly, just enough of a little relief down there, and put Ryan down. It's either going to be a really badass dive or a really shitty dive. He ended up uh, coming up and telling me that the place was a nursery, like just small grunts and like tropical fish, like not the areas we're looking for. And so we kept moving along. I ended up marking one that was a very small relief, but was just something, I guess you could say, like just something was there. So I ended up diving that. Closer to the bottom, I noticed there's scamps in there looking at me right away. As I was reloading, I saw another gag, so I ran over with my loaded gun and swam over the gag as quick as I could. Yeah, I knew I was on to him, so I do a quick shot here. So I shot him and tried to reload as quick as I could. Kind of far back on the spine, but still severed it, so took care of him quick. So to have two guns ready. So I just got to the bottom, anything could show up. After a few grouper, I just reloaded my guns, started searching the areas. Hopefully there'll be an edge to the spot or something that held a couple more.
I swim the other end of the spot. There's a fat snapper on it, but no more grouper. Seems like the rest of them learned, got out of the area. Probably get all the other fish getting shot in the bubbles. Makes a lot of noise down there and I'll clear out usually by now. Take out some of the lionfish while I'm down there, and I give back some. Not to mention these invasives are delicious. Actually, my favorite. You don't have to cook them either. You can eat them raw even. A lot of times you don't even have to fire the gun. You can just stab them with a spear shaft yourself. Bonus. It's a fossilized clam. I think something I'll take back from this time. This dolphins like nearly ran into me when I hit Deco. You get excited a lot of times when you're coming up like this. They don't know what to expect. Sometimes they'll come up to the fish. They usually won't take them from you when you're diving with them at least. Fishing they definitely will though. They're cool to see though always. They don't cause much trouble for me. guys and check the weather again right before it was about to hit. We knew it was going to hit us throughout the night and up until, you know, mid next day was the worst of it. Uh, we got the weather call, so tonight it's going to pick up to about 30 knots. We're looking at about six to eight foot seas. So I called the owner of the vessel as the uh, waves were picking up and the wind was. And um, he confirmed that the storm was going to be a little bit bigger than they anticipated. And basically that uh, we'd be all right, that the boat's been through uh, worse seas and that we basically just need to hold on. So we were basically ready to bunker down, so we anchored up right in the ledge and got a good hook in.